Hey everybody, it's Carrie from Must Love Travel here, and I just wanted to reach out to you guys. Uh, we are now, most of us, coming out of lockdown, and I wanted to say, how are you? Um, what have you been up to? What have you been doing? How did you do during lockdown? Um, as some of you may know, I am a U.S. travel agent, but I do currently live in London, so things over here have been a little bit different than they have been in the U.S. for you guys. Uh, we are still technically in lockdown. It's our 11th week, um, but more places are opening up for us, and I'm just really, really excited that uh, last night we were able to order uh, what we call takeaway, so takeout. Um, takeaway pizza and we were able to go get that and I did not have to cook for about the first time in 11 weeks so super excited about that um, I do love to cook but it was getting a little bit old during lockdown let's see um, been reading this is my third book by this author this one is about the UK um, I've read the one about Australia and I've read the one about the US and uh, it's really funny so if you need a good book and you want to read about different places um, Bill Bryson is a great author that you guys can check out. And let's see what else. I've been doing some quilting. I started a quilt in the winter and I finished it during lockdown. So that was nice to complete a project. But I also wanted to just take a moment and talk to you about travel in 2020. Um, right now, my husband and I are still planning to travel. In fact, we're really looking forward to it because we too had vacations um, that were canceled. So we are still going to the Dominican Republic in October. We're gonna to go to an all-inclusive there. It's called Secrets Capcana. It's an adults only resort and stay in a preferred uh, club room there. So we're super excited about that. In December then we're sailing on Avalon Waterways. That's a river cruise company that we really love. And we're doing Christmas markets on the Danube. Um, and we did just get an update about that yesterday. Christmas markets are expected to be open and business as usual for those. So again, we're really excited because we love Christmas in the month of December. So um, for us, being able to experience the Christmas markets in Europe is terrific. Um, the last thing we're going to do actually to ring in the new year is uh, we are going to Finland. We're going to stay at the Northern Lights Ranch and um, be able to see the Northern Lights, hopefully. Fingers crossed because they don't always come out, but our room will have a glass ceiling and we'll be able to just lay in the bed there if we want and watch for the Northern Lights. So we're going to ring in New Year's that way and hopefully 2021 is going to be a lot better than 2020 has turned out to be. And I also just wanted to share with you guys um, planning for 2021. It's going to take some advanced planning for you guys that are going to want to travel in 2021 because I can understand if you're not comfortable traveling in 2020 yet. There's still a lot of unknowns going on. So um, 2021 is going to be a great year for travel, we hope. And it's going to require some advanced planning because if you think about it, now we've got pent up demand uh, for travel. We are seeing bookings um, for 2021 coming in and a lot of people are excited to get away and take that vacation they couldn't have this year, move it to next year. And some of them are making it even a little bit more grand uh, because they're able to save up a little bit more now. So it's essential that we plan ahead. Um, availability is probably going to become an issue at some of the popular destinations. So over the next um, a week or two, what I'm gonna be doing is sharing things with you about uh, different topics. So the next video I'm gonna make is about theme parks and traveling there. I'm gonna talk about all-inclusives after that, and I'm gonna talk about cruising. So we'll talk about what we currently know for the industry, uh, what we're looking for in 2021. You know, we can go ahead and talk about that. We can talk about travel restrictions, things like that. And I'd love to sit down and talk with you guys. Uh, you can reach me, as you know, uh, via the phone or via Facebook or via my email. But one thing that I am starting to do is offer a Zoom video conference. So you and I can talk face to face and we can uh, get to know one another a little bit better. And I really think it's a great way for us to connect. So until next time, when I'll be talking about theme parks, I just wanna say take care. Um, stay healthy and uh, let's talk. We can talk travel. I can't wait. Bye guys.